Greetings to the NEM community around the world. This is a new edition of NEM Español, the YouTube show that tells you, mainly in Spanish, everything that happens in the NEM blockchain ecosystem. I'm your host, Alexis Trujillo. All those who follow our show and are part of the NEM community have heard more than once about Lockstack. This company develops comprehensive solutions through NEM blockchain to certify the authenticity of products likely to be affected by counterfeiting. However, such activity extends to other types of objects that are called high-value assets, which can range from artwork, graduation certificates, or even institutional accreditations. Lockstack has made a good name for itself in the Asian blockchain scene. It has won several awards and distinctions in the region. They have a complete website that describes how much they offer to the public and, even if you might not believe it, the members of the company also know how to rap. Synonymous with quality on the blockchain, making no apologies. Lockstack, keep up the pace, all in one place so you can track and trace. Today we will be getting to know a little more about its products and contribution to the NAM community. Well, I guess the better explainer for how Lockstack does and how that does it work and, and how profitable it, it, it is to have Rene Bernard. Rene is the CEO of Lockstack and he's joining us from his home in Malaysia, right? Malaysia, am I, am I right? Malaysia, right. Yes, Hello, it is. Hello, uh, Hola, okay. Greetings to our friends, not only in Venezuela, but all around the world. Hi, and mm. thanks for this interview. Well, welcome to, to Name Espanol, and please, Rene, I, I know you're a better explainer for how mm. Luxtech works. Okay. I think who are in who, who is in the Luxtech, uh, no, who is in the NEM community knows Luxtech, because we are uh, one of the prime flagship, very proud to be, projects uh, um, uh, that are delivering the NEM solutions to the real industry. And I should, yes, please? And, and I should say as well, you're one of the most inspiring ones, okay? You do great and brilliant things. How comes mm. you certify yes. authenticity? How comes mm. you certify ownership? Mm. How does it yes. work? Mm. Okay. So Luxtech is a startup business servicing businesses and enterprises from around the world to service uh, or to serve their customers better in the sense of uh, customer engagement, in the sense of authenticity of their products and in the sense of an ownership registry. Uh, these three features together, ownership registry, authenticity, and even customer engagement, loyalty programs, even allow uh, big data, uh, data analytics. And now, how do we do this for the businesses? Is that we create digital certificates of authenticity for valuable assets. And I'm saying valuable assets because it can be products, it can be graduation certificates, it can be professional accreditations for uh, from professional bodies that you did this uh, a certificate as a, a licensed uh, crane operator you are a real lawyer uh, or you uh, are a proper graduate of that university all this is assets right it's an asset which belongs to you and it is something which uh, you want to be trusted by third parties. So our system allows to put digital, digital certificates of authenticity of these uh, into not only a database, but into a high security database environment called the blockchain. So we are using features of the NEM blockchain to create these, sometimes we say digital twins mm -hmm. of these valuable assets. Yeah. Uh, and just to just to say what, what I recently, I recently started to say this on, on stages when I pitch, that um, we are enabling a digital connection, the physical digital world connection, yeah. because now we give a digital life to the physical assets around us. And uh, I would be repeating myself, but this is like very important for authenticity tracking to see the history, where do your products come from, to tag who is the owner at the given moment, so you have an, an application, a mobile app or a web application with a login, which says 
uh, where you log in and then you see which products you own. And uh, this is very good for uh, mem almost like memberships that you are in, uh, you can become part of that brand environment. I own these five pairs of some fashion apparel or uh, you can catalog your items, the products you own. But that's a little benefit for you, but a huge one for the brands because they know one guy from Venezuela has these six items from me. Yeah. And today he sold one. The brand, the manufacturer would see that you sold one of your uh, fashion products uh, or branded products to a secondhand buyer. Huh. And they would even know who is the buyer to the extent of maybe the device ID or, or even the email address of the buyer because you transfer ownership. That's something of these features in the ownership registry part where a secondhand buyer will receive the ownership certificate from you so that he's the real new owner. Similar like car registries, land registries. Now it's a, it's a possible possibility to have uh, ownerships of products transferred. And that's pretty useful both for the client and also for business. Okay. And speaking of that, you have, you have plenty, you have plenty of products, but there are two products indeed that, 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 Put you close to, 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 to the regular customer. I'm talking about the BASP, the, the, the base API. Okay. Yes. And it's, that's how, the way I see it, is how you put closer blockchain to the public. And that's fine. That's a record. Mm. And okay. also, I'd like to yeah. talk about e scroll because that's the way you're putting the blockchain to work to universities in the university world. How about those yes. products? Yes. Okay. So let's start with Bus API first. It's yeah. important that this is uh, this is a working title which we didn't yet uh, find a better title for. If anybody of the viewers has a better idea for the name, please give your suggestions. Bus API is okay, B A S okay. API. That's that. And that's the first scoop. Okay. All who are listening. Yes video okay if you have a better name for this work in progress you just have to 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 go to to the last stack page and see what we're talking about please do yes. so please you can work with us in this domain yes and you can talk with us we have even the last stack telegram channel and all these things uh, go through the website and, and hook up with us but now about bus api because many people write it as a bus you know a school bus uh, driving yeah. people around no it's a blockchain asset security API system, but then then the name is not optimal. I feel we might need to improve on that. So this bus API is a system to link, uh, um, let's say, to link companies or enterprises with the blockchain asset security provided by Luxtech and our invention uh, through an advanced programming interface through this uh, API call systems so that they can use their own uh, applications and their own internal development team. We would uh, provide them with the API documentation, then a subscription uh, key uh, because this is a paid service and they can uh, create and track and modify and, and do all the features what Backstack offers um, from their application uh, without using the Luxtech front ends. Yeah. Because that is something what we usually for the uh, for most of the customers we are tasked to do the front end development and the business logic the the application so we are somewhat like uh, even an application developer company uh, in that sense uh, more or less customized we try to uh, break down not customize too much to lose too much time on individual projects but uh, that's something where other companies can use our system without using our uh, our user interface. And now another is, point. This oh, sorry. yeah, e scroll. Okay, how does it work? Yes, yes. Okay, so e scroll is another product which is a uh, complete suite, including the front end, the user interface, which actually uh, uh, behind the scenes uses the same infrastructure like the bus API uses. It's the same thing that a digital uh, identity, a digital account on the NEM blockchain, a, a full-fledged account is created and assigned to one entity. Uh, this entity now in the world of eScroll is, for example, a university 
has one signer's account, one creator's account, then every graduation certificate is one account on the NEM blockchain. Yeah. And only the entitled authorized university can create and sign uh, these uh, real uh, graduation certificates with their um, private key. And uh, it is something where data is inserted according to the policy of that uh, educational institution, how much data they want to put into the publicly visible blockchain uh, certificate. Uh, and um, that allows the uh, public to verify the validity of graduation certificates uh, in, a, in a way where university creates and uh, adds or appends a little a code, let's say a QR code, uh, onto the graduation certificate and uh, possible employers or anybody who is interested in verifying the authenticity can scan that QR code and this will directly check back on the blockchain that this uh, is a valid certificate. Uh, I would like to add in one, one important feature here because that is nothing too new, right? There is like maybe five competitors doing similar graduation certificate using a blockchain technology. Yeah. We, we are a bit special here because we are already one step advanced, one step uh, ahead. Still using the NEM blockchain, using the same core technology, but instead of putting a QR code onto that uh, diploma, because that requires to reprint if you want to uh, enroll old certificates or yeah. it uh, requires putting uh, even for the now fresh printing some some new feature into your printing software so so we have an, a, a system we have an, uh, already a working uh, working prototype to not print anything onto these uh, certificates anymore but we we developed a a um, it's not really machine learning because it is uh, fed by us but it's an it's a mini AI comprising of uh, OCR, optical character recognition, okay. uh, then comprising on a uh, mechanism to, um, uh, to identify which fields on the document you show into the camera okay. is what. So it scans and then it checks all this data against the blockchain secured um, uh, certificates. So it finds your name somewhere on the document is your name and so does even, your name somewhere exist yeah and even yeah. the little difference you could do if you want to counterfeit something say so you yeah. just find that yeah that's that's yeah. great uh, exactly but then we we, we 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 scan what is the text on that document right and and we even we even looking at the logo and the of a institution and the text uh, and then when i think we have eight out of ten or nine out of ten features match that you what did you study and who are you and what university and what date if that matches the database well the blockchain secure database the name blockchain if that matches then our system will give a a, a, a green uh, tick uh, uh, that this is a valid certificate yeah. because the data exists so this means you could almost, if you wanted to, you can write in a Word document your own graduation certificate. You write it and you show it because it, it says the truth, right? You did graduate and you check it back against the, the, the digital truth. And it, it says, yeah, you are a real, a real doctor uh, or a real uh, master student. So, so that is something what enables us to backwards enroll even the graduates of the past five years, ten years. That is a great thing because it saves so much time for universities to pick up the phone calls from all these uh, employers and other universities around the world. Yeah. Hello, I'm from here and there. Is that guy a real student? Or oh, let me check back in the five years old records. That is a stupid work. Now the admission departments are doing and we can save them from doing that yeah. by enrolling with, without them having to reprint anything. Yeah, and that's, that is that's a an extra way. feature. That's a good way to, to put technology to work for the people. And, that, and that's the, the whole idea. That's the whole idea of blockchain, to, to make mm. us feel better, to improve our lives. Mm. That's, that's, that's all about, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's yes. Thank you.